Donc, le 26 octobre dernier a eu lieu Video Game Live, qui est un spectacle orchestral de musique de jeux vidéo. Ça a été créé en 2005 par Tommy Talarico, euh, qui est compositeur de jeux vidéo de Earthworm Jim, ainsi que de Advan Rising. Il est le co-créateur, je l'ai interviewé. Donc, en gros, je lui ai demandé en premier, qu'est-ce que c'était les Video Game Live? Well, Video Games Live is all of the greatest video game music of all time, played by a full symphony and choir. But what makes it really special and unique is that everything is completely synchronized to massive video screens, stage show production, rock and roll lighting, special effects, interactive elements with the crowd. So I kind of like to describe Video Games Live as having all of the power and emotion of a symphony orchestra, but combined with the energy and excitement of a rock concert, mixed together with all the cutting edge visuals and technology and interactivity and fun that video games provide. Ensuite, j'ai demandé comment il a fait pour avoir toutes ces licences, juste juste God of War, cinq compositeurs, il y a Mario, Zelda, Final Fantasy. Donc j'ai demandé comment il a fait pour obtenir tous les droits pour diffuser cette musique. Well, I've been in the video game industry for 23 years, uh, so I called up a lot of my friends and uh, I've worked with uh, Practically, I think every single com uh, game company uh, in the world at this point. Uh, and so, yeah, I called up. It, but it took me three years. Even myself, who's been in the industry for 23 years, it, it took three years. I started the company in 2002, and we didn't have our first show till 2005. So, yeah, it was really, uh, you know, a, a lot of convincing, especially the Japanese companies. I remember going to Square Enix or, originally, and they were like, what? People know the music to Final Fantasy? You know, now they have their own touring Final Fantasy show. So, yeah, we, we kind of proved the concept. But, um, yeah, so it was, it was really, uh, you know, it really... Uh, a lot of work to even to convince the game publishers that this would be a, a great thing. Now, they all call me up and ask me to put their music in the show now that the show's uh, eight years later is really successful. So, <laughs> so that's a nice little turnaround. But at first, it took a lot of time. Ensuite, j'ai demandé s'il y avait leur propre orchestre ou s'ils jouaient avec des musiciens locaux. No, we always play with local musicians. So wherever we are, you know, it's always people from the area. And I think that brings a lot of... Uh, it, it's a lot, you know, it brings a lot of uh, coolness to the audience, you know, that it's like, hey, these are our musicians on stage who are normally they play Beethoven and Mozart, but tonight they're playing Zelda, Warcraft and Halo. <laughs> so in Montreal, what is the orchestra? Uh, the orchestra is called the, uh, the Diverso Symphony Orchestra and we have the uh, Vocational Ensemble Choir. They are unbelievable. I mean, we've been uh, rehearsing now uh, for the last day or so and Montreal's in for a treat because these guys got it down. So the choir is amazing. I mean, they're both. It's going to be incredible. Je lui ai demandé ensuite quel était son compositeur favori ou sa musique de jeux vidéo favorite. Okay, video game composer is probably uh, Nobu Uematsu. Uh, from the Final Fantasy series, uh, Koji Kondo from Nintendo doing Mario and Zelda. Those are probably my two, uh, my two favorites. But um, and my favorite composer of all time is Beethoven. Um, and my favorite video game score uh, as a body of work, a whole body of work, would have to be Nobu Omatsu's Final Fantasy VIII. It's my favorite. Ensuite, je lui ai demandé s'il y avait un futur pour la musique de jeux vidéo dans les médias de masse ou à la radio. Oh, I think it already is, you know. I mean, I, I think, you know, when you go on a website like ocremix.org and tens of thousands of people from all over the world are uploading, you know, video game remixes and there's cover bands out there that are just do video game music. Where's the movie music that does that? Where, where are the bands that cover movie music? Where's the... Where's the website that has tens of thousands of young people remixing movie music, you know? So I think video game music has already evolved into our culture. Uh, the average video game soundtrack outsells the average movie soundtrack already. So, you know, I, I think that it's there. It's just that people don't know about it yet. And that's, that's or the mainstream media maybe doesn't know about it, like you said. Uh, but that's, that's a great thing about Video Games Live. I mean, we have a tour like ours that's been touring for eight years and we do 40, 50 shows a year all over the world selling out everywhere whether we're in Dubai or New Zealand or Chile or Korea you know so it's I think it's a really it says a lot about the video game industry and video game music Ensuite je lui ai demandé s'il y avait des conseils pour les musiciens qui voulaient composer dans l'industrie du jeu vidéo 
Absolutely. There's a couple things you can do. The first thing is you got to go to the website audiogang.org. That's the gang stands for the Game Audio Network Guild. So audiogang.org, there's over 2,000 members around the world, uh, and it's all people. All people uh, who are looking to get in the industry, students, uh, professionals who are in the industry. So that's the first thing. Uh, second thing would go to the ga- go to the game developers conference, uh, gdconf.org, uh, gdconf.com is that website. That's where all the people, because it's all about networking. So you got to meet the people who are in the industry. So that's a great networking opportunity. Great website, gamasutra.com, that has an awesome audio and music section. And there's the International Game Developers Association. IGDA.org, and there's uh, local chapters around around the world. That's another great place where people can learn how to get in the industry, meet the people who are making the games. Tommy Tarareko, it was a pleasure. Thank you for your time. Awesome. Thank you so much. Enjoy the show.